Hey Team Nomis Canada, that's what I call my members and subscribers. Hello coin collectors young and old, and anyone else that might be watching. Welcome to Nomis Canada with Bruce. And today we're here with Season 6 of the State Headquarters Collection. And today we'll be focusing on the Bay State. Now if you know what that is, by all means, but if you don't, Stay tuned and we'll show you right after this. Welcome back. So we'll get into this and of course we're still working on book one, volume one. The state that we will be covering is Massachusetts and Massachusetts is the Bay State and joined the Confederation in 1788. And of course here we have the official seal and the state flag and a photograph of the Minuteman statue in Le Lexington, Massachusetts. This statue commemorates the Minutemen who stood their ground against the British in April 1775. The Massachusetts State Good Quarter Dollars Minting Limited to 10 weeks issued January 3rd, year 2000 brilliant uncirculated condition and I will show you the Philadelphia reverse and Denver obverse and here we are we have here the Philadelphia reverse and the Denver obverse and the unique Massachusetts quarter dollar features a colonial Minuteman, a soldier who is ready to fight for America's freedom at a minute's notice. On April 19, 1775, Minutemen alerted by Paul Revere on his famous midnight ride from Boston, fought the first battles of the American Revolution at Lexington and Concord. They played an important role in the revolution although they were later disbanded during the military reorganization. The image of a Minuteman on the coin is based on Daniel Chester French's The Minuteman Statue that was erected at Concord in April 1875 to celebrate the 100th anniversary of the start of the American Revolution. The Massachusetts quarter dollar also features an outline of the state background. A small star indicates the position of Boston, the state's capital, and the largest city in Massachusetts. Massachusetts is known as a Bay State because of the 65 mile long Massachusetts Bay that stretches from Cape Ann to Cape Cod. Many of the earliest colonial towns were established along the bay including Boston, Plymouth, Salem, Lynn, and Gloucester. We'll turn this over. And of course, we have on this side the Philadelphia Mints obverse and the Denver's reverse. And I'll let you look at that. The first recorded exploration of Massachusetts coast was by English explorer John Cabot in 1498, but, but it was the Pilgrims who established the first permanent settlement at Plymouth after sailing from England aboard the Mayflower in 1620. The colony prospered and in 1621 the Pilgrims observed the first Thanksgiving. Massachusetts Bay Colony was chartered in 1629 
and Puritan settlers formed many small communities across Massachusetts, most notably Salem and Boston. Massachusetts was a self-reliant in agriculture and fishing, but England controlled its trade and imposed heavy taxes. By the 1960s, Boston became the center of dissident against the British rule, and the Boston Tea Party in 1773 displayed the colonists' anger at unfair taxation. On April 19, 1775, the first shots of the American Revolution were fired at Lexington and Concord. Massachusetts supported the ideals of the Revolution, and the Massachusetts Constitution served as a model for the U.S. Constitution and Bill of Rights on February 6, 1778. Massachusetts became the sixth state to ratify the U.S. Constitution. The state prospered until trade restriction from the Embargo Act of 1807 brought overseas shipping to a standstill. As a result, Massachusetts developed thriving textile and including manufacturing industries to produce items that were no longer available from Europe and the Orient. Massachusetts strongly supported the Union because in the Civil War and sent over 146,000 men into battle, including the first black regiments. The state was also vital, well, a vital stop on the Underground Railway that helped escaped slaves find freedom. After the war, manufacturing continued to expand. By the turn of the century, Massachusetts produced more than one third of the nation's woolen goods and about half of the nation's boots and shoes. In 1919, Massachusetts Governor Calvin Coolidge became a national hero for taking strong, a strong stand against Boston's striking police force, which was protesting the mayor's refusal to let them form a union. Coolidge rode his popularity to the vice presidency, taking over as president upon the death of Warren Harding. But the most famous of Massachusetts politician was John F. Kennedy, who was elected in president in 1960. A major seaport, the capital city of Boston, is central to New England's trade and finance, as well as one of New England's main tourist, main tourist spots. Boston is also home of the numerous universities making the area a great cultural and research center. The first secondary school and the first college in the U.S. were both founded in Boston. The Massachusetts economy remained strong throughout much of the 20th century. The new industries boomed to meet the demands of World War I and then after a decline during the Great Depression, the economy soared spectacularly once more during and after World War II. In the latter half of the 20th century, Massachusetts was known as a center for military research and development, as well as a leader in high-tech industries, banking, education, insurance, and medical care, also contributed to its economy. Now, this particular section has three stamps and we see this stamp here and I'll give you photographs of all of these. It says midnight ride one if by land two if by sea USA 24 cents. Issued November 14th 1975, the stamp depicts the Old North Church in Boston, Massachusetts. On April 18, 1775, the light in its tower signaled the British troops' approach by land. Soon after, Paul Revere made his famous ride to Concord to warn American troops. Over here, we have this stamp, and it says Emily Dickens, Emily Dix, 
Dickinson, American poet, U.S. 8 cents. Issued August 28, 1971, this stamp portrays American poet and Massachusetts native Emily Dixon, Dickinson. Dickinson authored almost 2,000 poems in her life. Her poetry included off rhymes and unusual syntax with themes focused on death, religion, nature, and love. And the final stamp is here. And that may be difficult to see. I hope the photograph will give you a better image of it. It says John Quincy Adams, 1824 to 1829, six cents United States postage. Part of the presidential issue, this stamp was issued July 28, 1938 to honor the sixth president, John Quincy Adams, a Massachusetts native. He was the eldest son of the second president, John Adams, and spent 50 years of his life in public office. The capital city of Massachusetts is Boston. The flower is the Mayflower. The bird is the chickadee. The tree is the American elm. And the motto is Anse Petit Placidum Sub Liberate Quietem. By the sword we seek peace, but by peace only under but peace only under liberty. By the sword we seek peace but peace only under liberty. I hope that you have enjoyed this romp through history uh, with these lovely American state quarters. And this time we featured Massachusetts, the Bay State. We hope that you watch the entire series as it comes available and Thank you for watching. Hope to see you again soon. Bye for now. And please remember to like, share, and subscribe. And keep on collecting.